Hey, it's John Nolan here. Listen, with everything that's going on in the world today, it's the perfect time to become self-sufficient, grow your own food if you can, and prepare with emergency food. You won't regret having this when you need it. And right now you can save $250 in a three month food kit from My Patriot Supply. It's their lowest price in three years. Go to preparewithinspired.com and get your $250 saving on this three month emergency food kit. That's preparewithinspired.com. Hey, hey, Inspired Tribe, my fellow freedom lovers, it's John Nolan here. Thank you so much for joining us again today. Thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for commenting, for subscribing, and for hitting the notifications button so you'll get notified about new videos every day. All right, as we are approaching this new month of October, of course, this will bring new energies. Things are expanding and things are even collapsing faster and what we need to do always is take the bird's eye view is go above and beyond and look from the broadest perspective so we can actually celebrate rather than worry and we can continue to contribute positively rather than get negative and fearful what do i mean by that Let's look at some of the headlines that are out there in these days that are coming out and what they actually mean and how they tie to this whole Great Awakening. One of the things that's very interesting, of course, this has been talked about over the past few years. Now it is here. A mosquitoes have vaccinated a human being. Genetically modified mosquitoes vaccinate a human. A box full of genetically modified mosquitoes successfully vaccinated a human against malaria in a trial funded by the National Institute of Health, the NIH. <laughs> yeah. The study involved about two hungry mosquitoes biting a human subject's arm. Human participants placed their arms directly over a small box full of the bloodsuckers. Do you even pay attention to the language? Can you hear how they're wording this? We use the mosquitoes like they're 1,000 small flying syringes, said researcher Dr. Sean Murphy, as reported by NPR. Three to five vaccinations took place over 30-day intervals. The mosquitoes gave minor versions of malaria that didn't make people sick, but gave them antibodies. Efficacy from the antibodies lasted a few months. Half of the individuals in each vaccine group did not develop detectable P. falciparum infection, and a subset of these individuals was subjected to a second CHMI six months later and remained partially protected. These results support further development of these vaccines, researchers concluded. Carolina Reed was one of the 26 participants in the study. My whole forearm swelled and blistered. My family was laughing, asking like, why are you subjecting yourself to this? Reed enjoyed her experience so much that she says she wants to participate in as many vaccine trials as she can. For this research, each participant received 4,100 as an incentive. Adverse reactions were what one would expect after getting bit by hundreds of mosquitoes and nothing more. Dr. Kirsten Light calls the research a total game changer. Light led the phase one trials for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine and was a co-investigator for Moderna and Novavax COVID-19 vaccines. Okay, so this reads like satire. But the thing is, these experiments, these trials are not satire. Now, one might speculate whether these trials have been taken further and such mosquitoes and other means to manipulate or genetically alter the population have already been released to the public without anyone's consent or knowing. Okay, but these headlines say so much more than that, and there's a positive spin to this, but let me look at a few more headlines here. Bill Gates takes it to the extreme and releases swarm of mosquitoes to create malaria awareness. He literally released them during a talk to the audience, and he jokingly said, well, don't you worry, they're not infected. Some other headlines, Europe braces for mobile network blackouts. Also, the U.S. Transhumanist Party is gaining more and more momentum uh, with their work. Yes, there is a Transhumanist Party in the United States. Now, of course, uh, major headlines are the uh, Nord Stream pipeline uh, sabotage and at the same time openings of new pipelines, which all ties to the looming conflict between Russia and China and the West. And that's really kind of how currently the factions seem to fight each other when really on a global scale, it is usually serving one and the same agenda. But 
what we're seeing now in terms of headlines coming out more and more and more, number one, what it does is it shows us that actually big things are happening every day. People write us and say, hey, you said big things were going to happen. Where are these big things? Well, go and look what's unfolding in the world. These are humongous geopolitical seismic things. These are things of huge magnitude and they are creating ripples that have huge effects all over the world. But let's go a step higher and I want to share a little story with you all. I don't know how long ago, 15, 20 years ago, but it was quite a while ago. I remember I was deep into the research around, I believe, 9-11 and so that, that led to a lot of other rabbit holes that are connected to that. And I remember for the first time reading the story about mass arrests, about white hats in the military, about a period where all networks and TV stations were going to be taken over and they're going to broadcast the truth to the public for days or even weeks. And there's going to be this huge disclosure of what's been really going on. And at that time, it was such an exciting thing to hear about this and read about this. I was like, finally, this is so great. This is going to happen. The world's going to learn all about this and the Federal Reserve and 9-11 and all the big connections and the secret societies and the manipulation and wonderful. And for a moment there, I thought, great, what, what else is there to do? We're just going to wait till that happens and it's going to be good, right? And then I realized that there's absolutely no waiting for anything to happen, that we are the ones who need to be activated to do all the work, you know, to do the spiritual work, do the positive envisioning work, create a beautiful vision for the future. At the same time, uncover what's been happening so people get the contrast and realize how they've been manipulated, lied to and deceived. And so they can actually make a, an educated choice for a better future. So all of this work needed to happen. And of course, over the years, I've still kept, you know, the hope alive that there was going to be such a period where we're going to see mass arrests, where we're going to see a monumental earth shaking things that will change the course of history. And people are still saying, well, we're going to wait for that to happen. No, it's already happening. And we, all of us, we're part of the creation of it. And this is something that needs to be celebrated because what we're seeing right now unfolding in the mainstream, even in the media, in all these world events that cannot be ignored, it's a red pilling. It's the most massive red pilling that has ever happened. And it is happening even in the mainstream because people cannot help but make those connections. They cannot help but see the corruption. They cannot help but see that they've been lied to, manipulated and deceived and they're coming to bigger, greater, more beautiful conclusions because of it. So yes, I believe all of this is already unfolding and we are the co-creators in it. So as we see this, as we see the economic collapse, as we see such epic proportions of corruption in politics, I mean, it's not even corruption anymore. It's just pure evil now. It's a celebration also because all this was the same 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, however far back you want to go. It was just hidden really well. And now it's not hidden anymore. It is out in the open. So this is cause for celebration. And we actually do have a 24 seven red pill movement. You are part of it. We are part of it. We're all together part of it. There is an explosion of alternative media channels. And yes, some are infiltrated. And yes, some are created by the three letter agencies. Yes, yes, that's all true. But I know so many people personally, their heart, their mind, everything's in the right place. And they are, you know, they're just going at it every day. They're helping. They are force multipliers. This cannot be stopped. And it is so beautiful to see that. At the same time, it is also our daily duty to be, continue to be and get more proactive in our approaches and solutions. Because when we hear that a lunatic psychopath completely unhinged billionaire like Bill Gates is just releasing millions of mosquitoes into the world and you know whether you like it or not and of course they're saying oh this is for altruistic reasons and the mosquitoes kill each other and that how that's how diseases killed yes that's what they say but when has it ever been true what they're saying in public there's always another story to this we need to be more proactive and also come to a conclusion as to where the line in the sand is. How much longer 
are we going to tolerate these things? And what are we going to do about it, right? So these are big questions and they need to be contemplated and then answered strategically, right? Community is a great thing for that. That's why we encourage you to create communities and group. Discuss these things and you will come to very creative solutions as to what can be done. As a matter of fact, we have wonderful tools the smaller the political unity, so if you look at your town, your village, your county, your city council, if you look at those things, the smaller the political unity, the more direct the connection between the people and the elected leaders is. So you have the biggest impact in your town, you have the biggest impact in your community, in your neighborhood, and that's where direct government really happens, direct changes really happen. And so this is a wonderful time. This is an exciting time. It's also, of course, in some ways a troubling time, especially for those who are just realizing what's happening. And that's why we need to continue to be beautiful light workers, force multipliers, uncoverers, and speakers of truth, right? And we need to do it fearlessly. It's so important. And keeping track of what is unfolding and where it's unfolding. Also look for the hidden signs, the beautiful positive hidden signs in all of this. The first positive sign is it's being uncovered. That's the big one. But so often in the small print of all these stories, you can see that there's huge backlash. You can see that things are not going through. We can all see that this this whole conflict that was created over years and years and years in the Ukraine, it's much bigger than that. It goes so far back and it has actually very little to do with what is officially being said and very much to do with what is being withheld. And when we look at these things a little deeper, we find out that so often that which is in the public arena, that which is in the mainstream can simply be turned around upside down and then you get the truth of things or at least a clearer picture. It's all out there. It's all for everyone to see. But the closer we look to home, the more we can actually achieve and accomplish. And so we all need to get very active in our own communities. And that's what we do every day. That's what we love. That's why we're excited about all of this. And Tribe, we believe for us, this had to happen. It's so beautiful. It's finally happening. And stay encouraged, right? Stay courageous through this. You know, whatever fear is still left, face it, transmute it, turn it into power, turn it into inspiration, turn it into positive action. I mean, we got this. Who would stop us and who could stop us once we step into our true power? Who possibly could stop this? I believe this movement, this worldwide movement of awakened spirits and true human beings is unstoppable. So yes, more and more cause to celebrate. Of course, be wise, be street wise, you know, prepare for all kinds of blackout events. Don't rely on structures. Make sure that when you rely on a structure, it's one that you created, whether it's with your family or with your fellow neighbors or with a group. That's a structure you might be able to rely on because you, you created it. But everything else, all structures that are out there, the, you know, whether it's the supply chain, whether it's the financial system or any other system, do not rely on that. Do not rely on the products, the food, the necessities being there just like they have been for many years. That's about to change in our access to it. It's about to change. So we need to be prepared for that. All right, Tribe, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. We love you. And we'll be back with you again very, very soon.